Check this. Bay fans, it is KB here again, and today we are doing another Beyblade Burst Turbo unboxing and review. Today we are taking a look at the new Riptide Blast set. This set is a revamp of the original Fornius, and in this one you have a few extra gizzos which you didn't have in the previous Fornius set. Okay, so to start off our review, um, on the front here you can see in the top left you've got your standard Beyblade Burst logo got a nice enlarged one here on the lower face there on the right hand side we have Fornius F4 and for those who don't know Fornius is a defense type and the top here we have measure your launch power down the bottom here we have a nice little colored guide showing uh, power gauge in the middle here at the top we've got the new riptide blast launcher in the shape of Emperor Fornius. Below that we've got the driver in a new blue color rather than green, the zero disc and the new sort of turquoise blue Emperor Fornius energy layer. Below that we've got the Emperor Fornius and the graphic here. Below that we also have Slingshock ripping across the bottom and in the bottom corner we have Hasbro. As for the side here on the left we have another photo of the Riptide Launcher and the Ripcord. Also got Beyblade Burst Turbo in the corner there. As for the bottom, it's just your legal text. And on the right hand side, we have Beyblade Burst Turbo at the top and information about the Beyblade app. As for the back of the box, we have in the top left here Emperor Fornius and the defense symbol. Got the breakdown of the Beyblade separated. Got the energy layer there, weight disc, and the driver. As for his slingshot, he is a power rating of one, and his speed is five. Over here we have the stats for the new Fornius. He has a zero for attack, two for burst, defense 10, weight is nine, agility zero, and a stamina is two which is weird because he has an agility of zero but he has a speed of five so i don't quite get that underneath that we also have um an image here showing the emperor fornius being launched okay guys so that is a rundown of the box i will now take all these new pieces out and we can have a look at them separated from their container Okay guys, I'm back and all the parts are now free from the packaging. As you can see here, we've got our new Beyblade on the left and I have also brought along the original Fornius for comparison. Okay, so to start off, I'll go on to the left hand side and we can check out our new Fornius. So this is the new energy layer. I'm really digging this new blue. Um, being a big fan of the color blue, it's kind of nice to have an Emperor Fornius in that color scheme. And on the underside here, we have the new QR code. So there's that code if you want to scan it in. The next piece we have is our standard zero disc. So most people who have used a Spriggan or a Spryzen or even the original Fornius would be familiar with this disc. And the last piece for our new Emperor Fornius is the driver in its beautiful new blue color. Okay, as for a comparison between the two energy layers, the Fornius original is pretty much the same, but doesn't seem to pop out as much. As you can see, my Fornius has had a fair few battles, so it is pretty beat up. As for the drivers, pretty much the same, just different color. Okay. Next piece to move on to is the new launcher. So this new launcher has a power gauge. This button here resets it. And it is also, if you can see there, it runs in left and right launch patterns. So you can go there for left and there for right. Also on this launcher, there is a QR code there. So if you want to scan that into your game, there you go. Okay guys, so I'll get the stadium and we can test out how this new launcher goes and um, try it out okay guys it's time for the test battle I have decided to put our Fornius 
up against the original Fornius just for a bit of action-packed ending to the video. So I've going to, I'm going to launch these two Beyblades in their slingshot modes because I think if we launch them in their base modes they're just going to be really boring and it's going to drag on forever. So we'll get this underway and we'll see how the old compares to the new. Alright, round one. Three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. So that one was more or less down to the fact that the other Fornius was launched first and it didn't seem to take off, which is weird. Alright, round two, three, two, one, go shoot. Go shoot. And again, the second round goes to the new Fornius, but I am launching one after the other, so the new one is of course going to win most of the time. Round three, three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. And that's it for the test battle. The new Fornius clearly wiped the floor, but that was because I wasn't launching at the same time. Okay, so back to the launcher. As you can see, it has um, recorded the launch power, although my launches are usually a lot higher, but that's what it recorded this time around. So when you wanna clear it, you just push this little button here and it goes back down to zero. The cord that is with this is actually quite nice because it's got a very nice sort of gripping area so that you can actually get a good hold on the launcher without it slipping. Oh, one other point to note, there is also this little key here, so if you have those left and right spinning Beyblades, you can use this key to change their direction. Okay guys, so that is the review of the new Fornius Riptide set. Um, from my opinion, it seems like quite a nice set. If you don't have a very powerful launcher in your collection yet, um, I would definitely recommend picking this one up. It'll give you a lot more performance over the standard slingshot one considering the size in your hand it's usually pretty small this one has quite a nice feel to it i mean my i have adult hands so they are fairly large but for a kid's hands these are quite comfortable to hold all right guys thanks for watching this review if you enjoyed this review um, leave a like down below share this with your friends if they haven't seen this set before Subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more of my videos. And until next time, guys, have a good one. Check this.